Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with The Magic Brad Show. Peace, love, and happiness. That's the way that makes the world, that's what makes the world go round. <laughs> so let's talk money, how to save money, how to make money. No, I'm just going to talk about solar power, solar energy, and the other, um, what do they call them, renewable resources. I've kind of always been fascinated why in the world there isn't more harnessing of the wind and the sun, primarily the sun. I mean, you know, you, even in the wintertime when you go out to your car and the sun is beaming in, it's warm inside the car. So there's energy coming in there. And like the geothermal stuff, when you dig down below the frost line, the temperature stays kind of the same. So if you were to put stuff down below the frost line, even in winter, the, the air is a little warmer. So it's easier to warm up that, that already pre-warmed air than try to warm up that stuff that's sub-zero frozen temperatures. Or like wind energy, it's always moving. All the time, it's always moving. Even when it's not blowing really hard, it's still kind of moving. There's a breeze. And I saw a long time ago, not a long, long, long time, probably five, ten, five, seven years maybe, a guy, a kid, a, a college kid that created this thing in his dorm room. He would open his window and the wind would kind of blow through there. Not fast, just kind of breeze. And he noticed that there was a fluttering of this wind, the wind going through, and there's something like a leaf fluttering or something. So he came up with this idea and he put a tape inside of his window and then he put a little device on there and the device is kind of um uh, it's like a valve and i'm trying to remember what it is i think it's a diode any of you that know about electricity will understand but it's a diode i think what that does is it makes the electricity go through just one direction they put a diode on there and this fluttering and then a, a magnet system and like a coil thing so that that's what it was it was like a, a magnet and it would flutter, and because it's fluttering, the energy only flows one way through this diode, which charged a battery that then ran his, his radio. <laughs> so as the wind is flowing through, fluttering this magnet that was uh, going through a coil, and it would go direct current with this diode that would charge a battery that would run his radio. So I think that's a fascinating thing in and of itself. And then, uh, so there's also the water energy. You know, we're here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the, the Mississippi River is constantly flowing, flowing, flowing. So all that water that's flowing through there, granted they got the big power plant kind of thing at certain places to power the whole city, but why couldn't there be a lot of little ones that don't uh, disturb the ecology? Uh, little things that, uh, are powering. Like I remember I was in Bali, Indonesia, and they had this, uh, this, it was a small river that was flowing. And then they had these pumps that would gradually take the water up, up to another reservoir. And then that water would pump up to the next level. And eventually you got to the top and you had this, uh, like a water tower, a reservoir that contained all the water. So I, I saw another th uh, YouTube video, one of my favorite places to learn about things. And it was uh, these pumps. If, if, you could, if you've ever been in, in your house and the wind blows and all of a sudden the door slams shut. Sorry about that if that hurts your ears. <laughs> if the door slams shut. This was a, a mechanism that had these valves in it so that when this thing was sitting in the, in the creek and there's a little bit of a, a wave, this valve would slam shut. And that energy would then force this the water to go up this little pump a little bit. And then it would slam shut again and it would pump. So this thing would go click, 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 click. And that's just slowly but surely getting this water to go through this, this pump. And that, of course, then it would eventually go in, into a reservoir and then you use gravity feed to, to pump the water. And, uh, you know, I've been working on this project in Costa Rica. It's uh, 
kind of slow. It's Tico time. Everything goes slow down there. <laughs> but Costa Rica is like, I think, 100% sustainable through water energy because there's waterfalls and things happening there all the time. So they don't need petroleum. They've got, uh, I mean, they still have cars and stuff because that sucks that kind of energy. But a lot of other stuff is like water power. So I'm leading into the concept of solar energy. And I've got this little banner here I want to show you. There it is. Solar power, magic solar secret. Now, a little disclaimer. What this leads to is this is a affiliate program that I'm involved with. And I'm helping promote this uh, solar energy installations. So that's what got me intrigued about this. Because I used to live in Golden Valley. And we had a situation in there where we had a tuck under garage and the bedroom was real cold because of the the garage with cold air in there and i thought why couldn't you have a big solar panel on the south side that heated up the garage it could be a i think it's called passive solar where the um the sun hits the black and it makes it warm in there kind of like your car does and then that that warm air is pumped into another area with a small little fan. And um, that would heat up the garage, so now the bedroom would, floor wouldn't be cold. So look at this. I didn't push the button there. I got to see myself. I'm trying to see myself what's going on. See that? So it would heat up the garage, so now the bedroom <laughs> floor wouldn't be cold. Here we go. It's in real time. So, Sorry. Turn that volume down. So I digress. I got uh, sidetracked there. Get back in gear. Get back in gear. What's the matter with me? Oh, I had an idea. So turn that volume down. Um, sorry for the shaky cam there. Got an earthquake going on. You can get energy from an earthquake, I'll bet. So there's the sun, solar. There's the water, hydro. There's the earth, geo. And there's the wind wind energy. I had another idea. This is just another side idea. I thought of uh, why wouldn't there be some kind of like little impeller water thing at the bottom of your water spout when it rains? It goes through the water spout and spins this little impeller thing, a generator that charges a battery system that lights your landscape lighting. So whenever it rains, it charges up these batteries. You'd think there'd be things like that. Or I thought, why not have, um, well, here's one, all the gyms and things where they're pumping iron and riding those bicycles to, to, to exercise. Why not hook those up to power generators that charge things so all these people that are working out, pedaling the bikes, they could work as generators and charge things. Why wouldn't they do that? Same thing with the prison system. They're in there working out. <laughs> why not put it to work? I suppose there'd be problems with that where you're taking advantage of the prisoners. Whatever. That's a whole nother topic, isn't it? <laughs> so let me throw this uh, other little banner up here. I love this uh, StreamYard platform. So that's what it is. It's mysolarsecret.com. This domain redirects to a program that um, where you can enter your information in there. And they're only in a certain amount of cities. They're more in southern cities or, or states right now. But you can check and put in your zip code and find out if you are eligible for solar installation. And from what I'm understanding with the whole solar thing is if you can install these things and maybe on your commercial building or on your home, that you can actually be cash positive where actually you're actually getting paid harnessing this solar energy. So it just seems like a good idea to me. What do you think? You can make uh, use in the comments below. Go ahead, let me know your comments. Let me know your comments. Let me know your comments. Ooh. Just put that uh, up onto my uh, wealthy affiliate Facebook page. And at the same time, it went to Periscope. And from Periscope, it goes to Twitter. So if anybody wonders why I've got so much free time, is what I do is I leverage the internet. So I just posted this into three platforms doing this video. When I'm done with the video, I will 
upload it to YouTube, and it'll be there working for me 24-7 and having the search engine web crawlers. If anybody is a homeowner or a commercial building owner that's looking to install solar in their on their properties, and they went to this little domain right here, when they do that, this is the disclaimer, when they do that, I earn a commission. Ta-da! Let's do that. I earn a commission. <laughs> and that would be good. Make the cash register ring. Ching, ching. That's what it's all about, right? So, what's that? I got distracted. Got my phone down here, my little monitor. So, I've gone for 10 minutes, almost 11 minutes right now. I'm not going to take any more of your time. If you want to know more about this program, you can contact me. And the way to get a hold of me is. Dun, 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 dun. I got all these cool little things on here. Here's how you get a hold of Magic Brad. Contact Magic Brad right there. This goes to my phone if you want to give me a call, or it goes to Facebook Messenger, and you can message me, and eventually we'll get on a call because I want to talk to you, maybe get on a Zoom call or a StreamYard call. And that's a story more story, Morning Glory. So I appreciate you for tuning into the Magic Brad Show. If you've got a product or service, specifically maybe if you're a real estate agent and you want to get on and um, share with me the real real estate place, the properties that you've got available, or how you differ from all the other real estate agents in this world, I would like to talk with you and maybe we could work out a little collaboration thing going on in the real estate world because I'm looking to install solar. Okie dokie. Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be well. Be safe. Be kind. Don't start fires. Don't break any windows. Don't hit anybody. Be nice. Peace. Be well.